Hello everyone. Today we will start our lecture on data communication which is CSC 309 course number. Okay. Moving forward in this section in the index section in the chapter wise we have serial numbers. The first chapter is introduction, network model, data and signals and so on. Okay. We are going to start with the introduction which is Chapter 1 Chapter 1 Introduction Data refers to uh, information presence in the form that is efficient or movement or processing. That means data is the basic form. That means if you know 5, that this 5 can be a number or can be a roll number or can be anything. So this 5 is a data and what is information if you process the data then it will transform into an information. Suppose you process this data with a roll number now you said roll number 5 so this is an information. So those are the difference between data and information. By this diagram you can easily understand that data are the raw materials and after processing the data it can generate informations. The difference between data and informations are given below. Data is just a text or number, but information is a refined data. Data is a single unit, but I it is a group of unit which is known as information. Data is the input languages for computers, but informations are the output language for human. Data is unprocessed, but information is processed. Data does not depend on the information, but information depends on data. Data is not specific, but information is specific. Data is a raw material and it is the processed one. Data is a building block, but it is a constant. Computer needs data and human needs information. Data does not carry the meaning, but information carries the meaning. You can have a snap of this one because this question is very important for your exam question point of view. Next topic is what is data communication? The movement of data from one end to another end is known as data communication. Data communication are the exchange of the data between two devices through a transmission media such as wired cable or anything else. Those communication is known of data is known as a data communication. This can be combined with ha hardware like as physical equipment also and some software equipment like programs. Now, applications and uses of data communication. The application and uses of data communications are given below. In e-business, online education file sharing, file transforming, resource sharing, e-banking, long distance communication, electronic mail or email, social networking and internet chatting. Now moving on the discussion of boards, then remote access of data, database and then web series and web services. Advantages and disadvantages of data communication are given below. Advantages of data communication are easy to communicate and speed up ability to share files and data information, sharing hardware and softwares, file sharing easily and highly flexible. Inexpensive system increase the cost efficiency, boost the storage capacity and the security, the speed matters. Those are the advantages of data communication. Now the disadvantages. Breakdowns and possible to lose the resources. Expensive to build. Security spread. Bandwidth issue and viruses. Hacking data sometimes can be hacked so this is a security purpose for data communication now we're in the 
telecommunication. Telecommunication is the transmission of signals over a long distance for purpose of communication. Examples such as mobile devices and stateless and landlines. Here are transmitter and receiver and in between them there is a medium is known as a telecommunication. The difference between telecommunication and data communication is given below. Telecommunication can be digital or analog but data communication is through or as a set or subset of telecommunication. Telecommunication is a communication over a distance but in data communication it is usually Increase digital and often excludes to the voice services. Network is used for making voice calls between telephones and here in data communication network are being used to send and receive data. Here in telecommunication we use circuit switching but in data communication we use packet switching. Network elements are like as HLC SPC etc. and in data communication we use networks as router, hub, bridge etc. Here protocols are used as ISDN and here the protocols are used as TCP IP. Telephones are the endpoints here but in data communication computers are the endpoints. So you can have a snap of this difference. Moving on to the next Fundamental characteristics or activities of data communication. The data communication have four activities er, or characteristics. Like as first one is delivery. The delivery of data is mandatory because if the data is not delivered, the communication cannot be possible. Then accuracy. You send hi to another one, but he received by. Is it correct? No. So accuracy is a must. But now Timelines. Timelines means you send a data, uh, uh, suppose 12 p.m., but he receives this data at uh, 1 a.m. So is the timeline is okay? No. So timeline is also in a concern. Now the most important part in this section is jitter. Jitter refers to the variation in the packet of arrival time. It is the uneven delay in the delivery of audio and video packets. For example, let assume that video packets are sent over 30 milliseconds. If some of those packets arrived with 30 milliseconds delay and the other 4D MS delays an uneven quality in the video is result. That means jitter is also related with the time factor which deals with the packet arrival time. Components of data communication. There are five components of data communication. The first one is the message. This can be the number, text, video, audio, anything else. Sender who is sending the data and receiver who is receiving the data. Then in this section Transmission medium is a medium by through they are sending the data and protocol is the rules and regulation that they need to be followed. Here the protocols can be UDP, SMTP and anything else. Data representation. Data can be represented as a simple plain text as we are seeing this the number 0 to 9. It can be a image. It can be also an audio and video file. Now the data flow or transmission modes. Here are the transmission modes. The transmission modes have three types. Simplex, half duplex and full duplex. Simplex. In the simplex mode the communication is undirectional and sorry in simplex mode the communication is unidirectional as a one street only one of two devices on a link can transmit the other can only receive 
as we have you can see in this diagram that the CPU is sending data to the monitor and monitor only receives it but it cannot send any data to the main frame so this is known as simplex now half duplex half duplex is a transmission at in time which one can send data and another can receive it this is also bidirectional but not at the same time that means if the station a is sending the data to station b then station b needs to listen but that time it cannot send any data to station a that's why we have directed there for data time 1 and data time 2 the example of this type can be walkie-talkie now the full duplex mode 